Hi, my name is Ben from Omago Dopostad and welcome to today's show. On today's show, we'll be discussing more about the importance of having an efficient farm layout. As land size continues to decrease, as also costs continue to increase, it's important that you look at how best you can be able to utilize whatever land you have in terms of ensuring that you are able to run a very efficient sheep enterprise in whatever size of land you have. And what is important as a starting step is to actually take time and draw out or rather figure out how you're going to lay out your farm in terms of your paddocks, in terms of your housing, in terms of your stores, in terms of your feeding areas, and to ensure that your farm is as efficient as it can get for you to ensure that your animals are able to produce in a very productive manner without having a lot of wastage. One of the most important infrastructures in your farm is your feed store, also known as the barn. Kindly make sure that your barn is not too far away from your feeding area. This will really help in terms of movement of feed to and fro, either if you're bringing in your feed through trucks or if you're bringing in your field through your plantations or your fields. Your barn should ideally be as close as you can get to your feeding area. Please remember, because you want to make it as efficient as you can, you need to make it very easy or as easy as it can get for your team as they are feeding the animals. And when it comes to the barn, the way we do it here in Amago Doppers is that we have a barn for what we refer to as our plant-based uh, feed, that is the hay, the lucerne, the maize, which is more of a very open, well-ventilated barn, as you can see. Then we also have the barn for the now feeds like the concentrates, that's the, uh, the maize jam, the maize bran, the wheat bran, which we have to ensure that is kept in a rodent-free environment. So as you're planning out your farm structures, ensure that you have your barn in the central of your layout to ensure it's as close as you can get it to your feeding area and also as close as you can get it to the area where you'll be mixing the feed or where you'll be using your machines in terms of the hammer mill, the choppers to now ensure that your feed is ready to be fed to your animals. Another important infrastructure in your farm is your water troughs or water sources. So for that, for the that are out there grazing. We have an external water source for them. It's a trough where they can just come. When they are going out to graze, they can pass by, have to their field, or when they are on their way back from grazing, they can be able to have the water up to their field. And for those who are on zero grazing, it's important that you ensure that you have your water piped or your sources of water as close as you can get into your uh, pens for zero grazing purposes. This will ensure that your animals will always be well hydrated. And remember, uh, for the sheep, it has been done and it has been seen from an analytical point of view that they actually increase weight if they get good water often and that means if they can have water with them 
consistently in their pens or within uh, uh, their easy reach, then they will do very well in terms of weight gain and growth rate. When it comes to the housing, it's important to give your sheep space in terms of an area where they can be able to stretch and play and also an area where they can be able to shelter in case of too much sunlight or rain or any extremities of the weather. So as you plan out your housing and in general your layout of your farm, ensure that you are looking at it from a both point of view of not only efficiency but also giving your sheep enough space for them to be comfortable because remember a happy sheep is a happy farmer any way you look at it so give them space so that they can be able to roam around space that they can be able to feed in their troughs and also ensure that you have given them adequate shelter from any extremities of the weather be it too much heat, cold, or rain. Yeah. That's very important. You'll also notice that, as we had mentioned earlier, the barn is not too far away from where your sheep will be staying. That will mean it also becomes easier for your workers to bring in the feed for them and also ensure there is efficiency in terms of removal of feed from the barn into the feeding areas. Another important aspect to keep in mind is to ensure that your machineries are kept in a safe, secure environment and again not too far away from where the sheep will be fed from and also ensure that your workers quarters, the team that will be managing the sheep on a day-to-day -day basis, that where they stay is also within reasonable distance from where the sheep are also staying. This will also give them, you know, your sheep the adequate security that they need. And in case of the seasons of lambing, you're not too far away from the action. And when need be, you'll be able to offer timely help. When it comes to waste disposal, it's important to also plan that out in terms of your layout. Ensure that you have either a pit or an area designated whereby you are able to take all the waste, uh, that is the manure from the animals, from your sheep, and you're able to put it in a well designated area so that it's not too close to the houses, because this could also bring a bit of contamination to your sheep. And in cases of uh, pests, you'll also have issues of fleas if your waste disposal plan is not done in a manner that gives it space away from the animals and also in a manner that ensures that it is in an area where it can be easily disposed, whether it's in the shamba going to be taken back into the farm or in some cases you will find with the sheep manure that you will also be able to earn a few coins from it. So it's important that you designate an area to ensure that you have your waste disposal section as part of your farm layout. Thank you for watching this far and I hope it has been useful to you. And please let us know how you're getting on with your farm layouts and let's share ideas together on the comment section let us know where you're watching from and how you're doing with your farming and to all of you for those who have subscribed thank you for those who have not please take the time to subscribe to the channel and give us a thumbs up and also please press the notification bell so that you'll be uh, uh, timely notified on our next video until next time from us to you, happy farming.